What's up guys, Awesome Nurcho here. So this is now um, after Black Friday, so I've done a lot of shopping and of course picked up a whole bunch of pops um, over this whole week and stuff, a weekend or whatever you want to call it, with Black Friday and all the after Thanksgiving shopping stuff. So I picked up a whole bunch of pops and a bunch of the set I got was the X-Men, new X-Men uh, pops and stuff. So I'll kind of go through and just like unbox them and show it off. So first up we have number 177 of Cable which looks really awesome. So I know this is um, one of Bro's favorite characters and stuff, so um, we're definitely excited to get um, the cable and stuff here. So there he is up close. So he's got his um, giant gun, which was known, um, his character's kind of known for in the comics and stuff, or the comic version. Um, I think he's drawn by um, Rob Layfield or something like that, something along those lines. When he first drew him, he gave him like ginormous muscles and this like giant gun and everything. And he was just, he's considered a ridiculous character because of how big he is and stuff. Um, but as you can see, he's got like, I don't know what the light is kind of hard, but he's got like his black dead, or his um, dead wide eye. And they, they gave him a yellow eye. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, but he's the son of um, Cyclops. I know that or some sort of relation to Cyclops and stuff. But he's in his old, like, like 92 X-Men looking outfit and stuff. Probably the one from the comics and stuff because it would have been in the early 90s when he was made and stuff. So that is Cable, the first one. Now this one is probably my favorite. It's Archangel, which of course you have Angel, which was shown in the movies and stuff like this. Or Archangel is when he becomes a disciple of Apocalypse kind of thing, one of the four horsemen, as you saw in the new um, X-Men Apocalypse movie and stuff. Um, but he gets this cool outfit where he's got like all this um, blue and like purplish pink color and stuff and it just looks awesome. Then he gets these giant metal, hers like normal angel wings get turned into metal ones and stuff and it just looks so cool. So as you see he's got the yellowish eyes there and stuff and I really love the color like this blue and then that pinkish purple and stuff so all over his outfit and then of course these giant metal wings. Um, and then looking at these pops or these X-Men pops, they actually did a really good job of painting them. Um, usually, um, to, at least in my opinion, a lot of the superheroes, they mess up their paint a lot. And um, these are all really are painted really good. I forgot to show the box up, but this one is number 179, and it's Quicksilver. So as you can see, he's got his little like hair wisps things. As you, you would know, like if he's running real fast, his hair would be like um, flying backwards and stuff. And... Um, he has his really old like blue and stuff outfit. Of course, he has his little um, like sash of like lightning or something. I think it's supposed to be. It's really hard to see um, and stuff. And then he's got his tights and everything. Um, but to me, like when I see his face, it reminds me a lot of uh, Magneto, like the um, unmasked pop I think they made. And it's kind of funny because Magneto's his dad, if you didn't know. Um, but definitely a way different look than you see as the Evan Peters version in the X Men movies and stuff. Um, but still really cool, and um, that's awesome. Um, now we have number 180, and it is Psylocke, which again, we got introduced to an X-Men Apocalypse. And so this will be really cool looking Psylocke here, if I can get her out of the package. Now since she is um, a female and has a skinny leg, she does come with the like little base plate that you can set her on and stuff. So she has a really awesome purple hair, which I think it's hard to see. I don't know what's wrong with the light white so bright all of a sudden. But it got purple hair. Then she has her um, like energy beam coming out of her hand, and then her sword. And then she's always um, drawn with like this little um, like ribbon type thing hanging off of her belt, or I guess it is like her belt and stuff. And then so she has her very small outfit. <laughs> as the character in the movie worn stuff and didn't like enjoy and stuff but that just looks really awesome they did a really good job with Psylocke get her back in the box and then of course the last pop from the says the 181 and it is Sabretooth we finally get Wolverine's brother in a set Victor Creed so this one looks like of course this is his um, very his um, original version which I like the best and I just think they did a really awesome job designing him so he has his like um, short blonde hair, I guess not really short and stuff, but he has his like um, tigerish outfit on is what I call it. Um, it's hard to um, hold, uh, but he's got his saber teeth or like really sharp teeth. He's got claws, it's kind of hard to see. 
they come to a point, but they're not sharp or anything like other pops have had in the back. Then he has like his fur around his neck and everything. And it just looks so awesome. I love this pop so much. And again, they did a really good job on the paint. Like stuff's not messed up hardly at all on that. So that is all of the brand new wave of pops. I don't know what wave it is. I would say two, but I don't know how they've labeled them. But one other thing I did get a pick up is the Juggernaut Dorbs, which was an exclusive back for um, during Comic-Con at um, FYE, and I was never able to get it. It was always sold out online, and of course they didn't sell their stuff in stores. Well, in shopping this week, we went to FYE, and they had it in stores, so I finally was able to get it to go with all the other X-Men Dorbs that I have and stuff. So it just looks so cool, um, cool and weird at the same time, because it does look like his head is just a big, um, weird-shaped head. It doesn't really look like Juggernaut and stuff, but it does have his outfit or down there, which is designed exactly like the um, comic version of Juggernaut and stuff, so that looks really cool. And I cannot wait for um, them to come out with more of them, and as you can see on the box here, it does have more. So you have Cyclops, um, Storm, uh, the Phoenix, uh, Jean Grey, Psylocke, Emma's Frost, and Sabretooth and stuff. So I can't wait to get all those two to go along with the collection. So that's going to be it for this um, Black Friday, I guess, haul is what you call it. Pop haul is what you can call and stuff of the new wave of X-Men. So that's going to be it. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave any comments you have down below. Hit that red subscribe button to check out all our videos. And we'll see you next time.